Okay, so let's finish setting up the rest of the ad spots within this template, including the header banner, which is 468 by 60. And down on the right side, we have the 120 by 600 advertisement space. And thirdly, you have the in-between posts, which is actually a uh, AdSense uh, module. So we will go through all three of those and set those up. So let's begin. So let's start first with the top banner ad. And it's virtually the same as how we set up the sponsored um, button ads here on the side. So I won't go into the d details on how to do that since we've already covered it. Uh, but both this advertisement here on the right and the one in the header, if you go back to your actual template, um, you can look at the header ad banner piece here. And if you edit that, it's going to be the same as the uh, sponsors uh, 125 by 125 box where it's just a text uh, box here. So all you need to do is find your actual uh, ad code which is going to include a link and point to an advertisement banner uh, and just paste it in here. And you're going to do the same exact thing for the advertisement uh, 120 by 600 on the side. And as you can see here I've already pasted in some code which does exactly what we've talked about where it's pointing to a link and it's pointing to the advertisement that we're currently doing and this one for example is pointing to the affiliate banner so we'll cancel out of that and that's basically how you set up the rest of those advertisements uh, for the header and on the sidebar so now what we're going to do is go into a built-in feature that blogger provides now which is the in-between AdSense ads, which is actually a very cool uh, feature um, that Google Blogger provides. But the way it was built into this template is even cooler. So what I'm going to show you is how to easily set that up since it's already built into the template. So what we do is go back to your template and edit the blog post section. Now you'll get a pop-up window and you can see some of the settings that I have here, number of posts on the main page, uh, some additional options. I've checked all the options just so you can see what it looks like on the template, but you don't have to have all these checked. And feel free to change them around as you like. So you'll see here down at the bottom, there's a configure inline ad section. And this is displayed here because I have checked this box above, which is the show ads between posts. And again, you need to have an AdSense account set up before this will work properly. So if you haven't done so already, go set up an AdSense account with Google, which is free. And then come back, and you're going to check this box right here. And this is basically going to show you the ad and what it's going to look like uh, and how we want to set it up in between posts. So the way I have it configured for the demo is to show after every one post, and you can change that to alternate. So show every after every two posts. Uh, and it's, it's up to you how often you want to show that. And then the format we want to use is 468 by 60 banner, which is here. And I want text and image ads to show up. Uh, some of you might only want text, text ads only, which is fine. So feel free to check that. And then what's important is actually setting up the correct color scheme because statistics show that the more blended your ads are within your template, the more likely people will actually click them. For example, if you have a very wild uh, background for your ad, um, it's not going to get as many click-throughs as a blended ad would. So let's go ahead and set up the blended ads to basically match the color scheme that your blog currently has. So for what we're going to do is we're going to set up the border as six Fs, which is basically white. So if you select white, that's fine. And the background as well is four Fs which is white. And then here, the text is going to be black. So go ahead and click the black color, which is all zeros. And then the title, this is where you actually have to type it in because it's not going to show you the actual red that we want to use. So the code uh, that you want to put in here is A91B33. And that'll give you this nice cherry red, which matches the color scheme throughout the template. And then the last color you want to select is a charcoal gray, which is going to be for the URLs if they actually show, uh, which it doesn't look like they will, but it's 
smart to have it set up here just in case any URLs do appear. So with that, your setting is going to be 666666. And after you got the color scheme set up, you're going to scroll down, hit save. That's going to close up. And if you go back to your blogger template, or excuse me, back to your blog and refresh, you'll see that these new ads now appear in between your blog posts. Pretty cool, huh? You didn't have to set up anything within the template code. You're just using a built-in feature that Blogger provides. And if anyone clicks on these ads, you're making money. You're putting money in your pocket. And it could be just a passive income, or it could be an income that you're trying to make money online and live from your blog. Either one is fine. But as you can see, I have it alternating uh, between each post. So this one happens to be text ads. And if you scroll down, this one happens to be an affiliate banner. And these are all dynamically generated, and they match the content on your site, which means chances of people clicking on these relevant ads is much higher. So one thing to note is that you'll see here that it stopped appearing uh, after my fourth post. And it, depending on how many, ad, how many um, posts you have appearing on your home page will vary from blog to blog. I have it set up to show five. And you're wondering why that after the third post that no more banner or no more AdSense ads appear. And the reason being is AdSense has a limit that it only shows a maximum of three ads per page. So if you want to change that, you'll have to go in and only display three posts per page. Otherwise, it's going to show you blank space, which in my opinion is fine in between the ending uh, post on your site. So bottom line, if you have more than three posts appearing on your home page, you will not have any ads after that. So let me quickly show you how to reduce that. You go back into your blog template. And here at the top, you can see it says number of posts on main page. We have it set to five. And if we change that to three and save that, and then go back to your blog, refresh that. You will now notice that there's only three posts on the home page, but there's a perfectly balanced mix of ads since we can hit the, the maximum of three. So it's all up to you how you want to do that, but I just wanted to point that out, that if you have more than three posts, you will have blank ads after that. And that also works uh, as well on the sidebar. So instead of having these sponsors uh, 125 by 125, if you put AdSense in the sidebar as well, say a 300 by 250 AdSense block, it will not show up if you have more than three posts. And that again is because AdSense has strict limitations on how many ads you can display on each page.